Wanda, this is a modern day fairy tale. Once upon a time, a butcher met the checkout lady at the supermarket. <laughs> Anyway, the bride and groom want to thank Harold Stoney over there for putting on the wedding for them. And now, a Greek philosopher, I think his name was Plato, he said, men and women are orange halves, searching for the rest of themselves to make us whole. Al, wonder? I know you are going to make the big orange. <laughs> Hi, Elsa. Guess we're kind of like sisters now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Grace! Oh! You look beautiful, Wanda. Thank you. I, I'm so glad you're here. You know, you, you must stop by one of these nights and, and let me do your hair. I mean, you should just put yourself in my capable hands, right? <laughs> I got my man, didn't I? Mm. It's good to see you, sweetheart. <laughs> Congratulations, Daddy. Oh, Grace, thank you. Thank you, dear. This is probably a stupid wedding present, only I thought you might like it. Oh, my gosh. That's me and you. Yeah, I, I had it painted from a photo. Yeah, it's nice. I was thinner then. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, Wanda, look at this, huh? That's Grace and oh, me yes, here. look at that. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Hey, that would really look nice uh, hanging up in a dining Absolutely, room, huh? Absolutely, darling. Look who's here. Wilbur! <laughs> I thought you were going fishing. Oh, I wouldn't have missed this. You're looking great, Lil, but so glad you could make it. Too old for this. Caught you. You know something? I know. I'd be a very pretty girl if I just lose weight. You've been telling me that my entire life. Lose a hundred pounds, everything will change. That's easy. Which diet? I've tried them all. The only one left is starvation. Sweetie, could you get me another rum coke? Rum and coke. Your father loves you very much, you know. I know. He's just trying to help you. Grace, you have such a pretty face, but if you don't lose weight, you never will find a boyfriend. I'm not looking for a boyfriend. Of course you are. You don't fool me one bit. I've already got a boyfriend. Well, since when? For a while. I just haven't said anything. Oh, he's really nice. And he likes me just the way I am. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure your uh, father and I would love to meet him. Oh, I'm sure you will. Time for the rice, honey. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Get out. She's got a boyfriend. He's cute. Did you hear me? Go get Al. She's got punk hair. Makeup. Al. Hi, Wanda. What's going on? Al. Daddy, this is Rob Harrison. What the hell? What are you gone, punk? I'm walking along and this guy yells baby cakes. I didn't know whether he flattered or insulted. It's a compliment. 
Nobody's ever called me that before. Another helping, Grace? No, thanks. I'm fine. Now, Grace, you know you always have at least two helpings, sometimes three. She's right. I can really pack it in when I want to. You should see me. Grace used to be a tomboy. Always climbed the trees with all the boys. She was thinner then. Don't believe him. I was big as a house. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. We, we got a picture right here. Daddy, face it. I was never a cute little girl. Where is it? Where is that picture that Grace gave us? Oh, it's in the storage closet, dear. I, I swear I haven't had time to hang it anyway. We all know that Grace has a pretty face. She just needs to lose a little bit of weight. Well, I think Grace looks great. I think she looks terrific, just the way she is. Well, she always was a sly one. I mean, I had no idea that she had such a nice friend, and, and then she shows up with you and this new look. Where did you two meet? Oh, ice skating. On the subway. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, uh, actually, we, uh, we saw each other first on the subway. But we really met ice skating. Oh, well, that sounds romantic. Probably not as romantic as falling in love at the supermarket. You know, the big orange. <clears throat> Lisa, would you get the gravy? On the 16th tee, Cody up to drive. And right down the middle. About What's it like, Grace? Right? Working with dead people. Gross. The dead are just like us. They are us. We're all going to die someday. It's nothing to be ashamed of. <coughs> Could we change the subject, please? We're eating. I think it's creepy. I mean, you paint up their faces. There's nothing creepy about it. I just try to make them look nice like they did when they were alive. It makes their friends and family feel better to see them that way. Well, we've been lucky because no one's died in our family yet. Knock wood. My mother died. Lisa, you need to eat more of this casserole. You need your protein. I swear she hasn't had anything to eat since she was six years old. You know what, Grace? I think I liked you better with your punk hair. Mm. Yeah, it was nice, Grace. But I mean, it's a relief to have the old Grace back, too. What happened to your boyfriend? Elsa? That's none of our business. I liked him. He was cute. Yes, and Grace knows it. Her friend is welcome here anytime she wants to bring him. I have to go now. I have to go to the laundry mat. Hurry, this is the pot! Two inches from the hole, this damn man misses the putt. I'm going now, Daddy. Yeah, okay, okay, sweetheart. He's finished. The man, he misses the putt. What's the 